Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is The Physics of Pirouettes. So a pirouette is a dancer, someone who spins around in a circle, like a ballerina here in this diagram. And to start spinning, she has to push off with one of her legs. So this will cause a force to accelerate her body in a circular fashion. So the first thing we can do is write down the equation for the initial torque, which is equal to R cross F. R here is going to be the radius. So as she spins, you can approximate her body as a cylinder, and this will be a radius. And this will be the initial force that induces a torque causing her to spin. Now, once she's spinning, there is no force. And we can see this manifested in a conservation law, the conservation of angular momentum. So angular momentum is defined as R cross P, where P is the momentum of her mass as she's spinning. This can be written in terms of her rotational inertia times her angular velocity, omega. And her inertia will be proportional to her mass and the radius squared. So we can write the angular momentum as m r squared omega. Now, because this angular momentum is conserved, that means over time it won't change. We know her mass won't change while she's spinning. So if she moves in her arms and her legs closer to the center, to the axis of rotation, then this radius will decrease. But because this has to remain constant, one of these other things has to increase. The mass won't increase, so we see that the angular velocity will increase. So if she brings in her arms and her legs closer to this axis of symmetry, this axis of rotation, then she will spin faster. Likewise, if she brings out her arms, then her angular velocity will have to decrease. And we can do, what we can do is take the time derivative of our mathematical expression that we know has to be equal to zero. So we have the time derivative of r cross p. And this turns out to be r cross the time derivative of the momentum. And the time derivative of the momentum is equal to the force. So we see that the time derivative of the angular momentum is actually equal to the torque. This means that the torque is equal to zero, as we initially stated, once she's spinning, after she's uh, pushed herself um, off the floor to start spinning. So. If the torque is zero, this either means that the force is zero, nothing is causing her to uh, spin faster if she's holding her radius constant, or that if she is exerting any force while spinning, it's parallel to the direction of the radius. So she can move out her arms, and obviously that requires a force, but it won't affect her uh, angular momentum or her torque uh, if she does so in a fashion along the direction of the radius. Finally, we know that in actuality the angular, mom angular momentum will not be conserved and this is due to friction between the ground and her feet. So over time the angular momentum will actually decay and will actually change because of this friction force that damps her spinning motion on the floor. My name is Walter Unglob and this is The Physics of Pirouettes.